Hmm. Okay, so uh, question two says that the points A and B have those position vectors. Find the exact length of AB. You did this really well. So if, uh, if A and B are like that, that means, let's be thorough about this, that means that OA is the vector 1, minus 2, 5. OB is the vector minus 3, minus 1, 2. So um, AB is minus OA plus OB which gives me minus 4, 1, minus 3. And the question was, find the exact length. So the um, exact length is the square root of minus 4 squared plus 1 squared plus minus 3 squared, uh, which is root 26. Um, I, slightly bizarre thing where the mark scheme allowed you to have 5.1 as the answer. That's not the exact length of AB. I don't think, I think that's an error on the mark scheme because I think in practice, I can't believe that they allowed you not to, anyway, <laughs> I can't believe that. Wait, does it mean they allow 5.1 if you've previously written root 26? Mm, because no. Because if you worked out root 26 and then write No, I, I, I agree, but, um, but no, it doesn't. No. Mm. Does it require that you have to write the <sighs> Yes. I mean, well, you need yes. The exact this is all on the video. Um, yeah, yeah, probably. Listen to it later. You're famous as well, then. Oh, right. right, we are all in a way YouTube celebrities. Okay, so the next part said find the position vector of the midpoint of AB. Um, so the midpoint that would be well. One way we could do that is the vector to get to OM is like going to A and then doing half of AB. That's, that's the same thing, isn't it? So if we go to A and add on half of AB, and AB is a half of that, so half minus 4, 1 minus 3, we can work that out, and it gives us the vector minus 1 minus 3 over 2, 7 over 2. Lots of you got that right as well. That was really well done. Um, the last part was the part that was less well answered. So show that A, B, P, Q is a parallelogram. I felt that it would be helpful for me to draw a little diagram of what that is. A, B, P, Q. We normally um, order our letters uh, clockwise around the shape. Um, so how can I show that this is a parallelogram? I could do it by showing that uh, two of the sides are parallel and, uh, and working my way through that. So uh, so what have we got? Um, we're given OP is 1, 2, 0. OQ is 5, 1, 3. Uh, so let's think about working through this. Um, I'm going to, I've got the vector AB already, so I'm going to get the vector QP. The vector QP is minus q plus op so that is the vector minus five plus one that's minus four one minus three ah brilliant um so what i've got from that is that qp is exactly the same vector as the vector ab Not only is it the same vector, but it's also the same length. Because that is this exactly the same vector. So QP and AP, AB are parallel and the same length. Therefore, it must be a parallelogram. And in your conclusion, they needed you to refer to both the direction of the vectors and the length of the vectors, just to confirm that they both had the same direction and length. A number of you said it was the same direction, but didn't explicitly state it must be there for also the same length, and that needed doing as well. Okay, that's that one.